Hello, it is me Solsis from Solsis Productions again and this is episode 3 of my tutorial on the stage resource uh, which is a very handy uh, compact tool which is holding uh, things like uh, pad animations, vehicle uh, spawning animations uh, and camera movement positioning and a ton of uh, very important things you very much need to create a San Andreas Machinima and uh, basically uh, I've covered uh, pets in tutorial 1, including animations as well as vehicles in episode 2, and in part 3, which is this part, I will be covering uh, all the camera features, which will be pretty complex, but uh, I will be trying to get over uh, all of them, uh, and for that I will use a small scene that I've just set up, which is about an officer fall, uh, chasing down some random criminal. Uh, which you can see here in this whole scene uh, we will be trying to add a lot of camera movement uh, such as rolls, uh, changes in field of view, uh, static cameras as well as moving cameras and cameras uh, attaching to elements which will be pretty hard in my opinion whatever so I'll stop the scene, I'll reset the scene, and I will reload my file to put the vehicles back in position. In my console. And, okay, let's get started. So first off, what you will need to do is you will need director access. So you will need to log in using the default password director or anything that has changed in the resource. So, uh, we'll be standing here and... I'll be making a static camera first. Uh, whoops. Press F6 to get into camera mode once you're in director mode. Fly here and well anywhere you want. And init camera with current position and target. Uh, we're gonna go to position move and it will be a static camera. Uh, there is no target so the target will be world global and we will put that on hotkey too so we enter 2 here and set and following that as you can see go here and do press hotkey 2 or the camera will be here to move around more smoothly but we don't want to do that anyway so it's just a matter of holding your mouse still uh, Okay. That's camera one. Uh, camera two will be a moving camera, which we will make by pressing F7 again. In it with current position and target. Now we'll move here, just where the camera will be going. Got a position movement. Move to point and dump this location here by pressing C. Copy. Uh, the initial speed will be the speed. Uh, if say if you want to have a camera that will start gradually and increase in speed and then stop gradually slowing down, you will uh, specify an acceleration speed and deceleration speed as well as uh, the maximum speed and minimum speed. The maximum speed is the maximum speed that acceleration will reach and minimum speed will be the minimum speed that deceleration will reach. Uh, we don't give a fuck about that so we will put maximum speed to 0.5 and minimum speed to 0.5 and we'll put the initial speed to 0.5 meaning the initial speed is the speed that it will use upon starting the move. We'll specify hotkey 3. It will be a move to point camera. Uh, there is no target. And we'll set that. Save camera settings. And we close the menu. And do this. Then we press F3 and we see that the camera is moving. Uh, we can increase that speed a bit too. Because I don't like this. See, the camera speed is increasing a little. We could as well try to. fucking five yep okay we will set that as our we can actually move around here too 
Um. Then the, f the third camera that we'll be using, we press F7, will be a field of view camera. And set that to 4. Init dump current position, set movement static, set uh, roll. Uh, initial field of view will be 70. Which is standard, but we gotta. We wanna decrease that to 40. And initial speed will be, say, 5. And. and we set that as well. And we get this kind of an effect. I don't know why the fuck the camera is still moving. Oh, and a half when it comes to fill view, static. <laughs> Current camera. And for some dumb reason, it's throwing us. All this fucking camera's a real bitch. So we gotta redo camera three again. Seven. In with current position and target. I move to point here. C. Set. Test camera. Yep. Perfect. Oh, now it works. Okay, we did that, and now the car is gonna crash into the water, so we might want to do small roll effect to that part. Uh, it, uh, it's an action scene, so you gotta have a lot of camera switches, which is not a technique. You don't want to have a camera that will last long statically. So, I want to have another one here. Position movement will be static camera and it will be fine. I will set that. Uh, we gotta change the field of view though, because I don't want this to be. Okay, it's our camera. I want another camera to be here. That will be a moving camera. So we dump the position. That's gotta be camera six. Uh, the position movement will be move to point camera as well. Dump that shit. You know, roll. something like that. Well, we don't want to have...
0 0.5, and we're going to have that turn like that. A bit faster. It's going to look fucking bad as well, by the way, but... It's just going to put a lot of effort in this. So, in the end, you get something like... Start with camera 2, and press P to start. They start. Sirens go on. Well, it looks perfect to me. See, and that's that's the ease of this whole program. It's just so simple to set up. It's a great tool. Uh, you don't need to hire the actors. You don't need to to uh, human resources management, all that stuff. When it comes to making a very simple video with a very simple tool, but you can do so much with it. Uh, I hope this has covered most of it. Uh, when it comes to cameras, it's kind of flawless. However, if you have any questions or encounter any bugs that, or well, you don't know how to fix something or some issue that you have, uh, feel free to drop me a message or a reply to this video, and I'll do my best to help out with that. Uh, once again, the download link will be included, and check out my channel for uh, any further uh, help with this whole issue or, or this whole topic. And because there is a ton of machinimas, I'm really into machinima making in San Andreas, and you will see a lot of content on here that I have made using the stage resource uh, and a lot of techniques. But keep in mind, the sky's the limit on this one. So the only real limit you have to this feature is your creativity and also the knowledge you have of video making and recording and being a director. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.